Welcome everyone. So in this particular video, I've done some additional testing on the visual positioning system or VPS on the Phantom 3. And I have a prior video doing some tests and I'll link to that below in case you want to take a look at it. Uh, there's been some debate whether or not VPS operates or assists the Phantom 3 in positioning when the Phantom has a good GPS lock. Uh, and by VPS, what I'm referring to is the downward facing camera that the Phantom 3 can use uh, to determine its position when I feel that it does not have a, a, a good GPS lock. But again, I'm referring just to the camera and not the ultrasonics. I still believe that the ultrasonics probably do have uh, some use when the Phantom does have a GPS lock. Um, but in my prior video, in this video, I think I pretty much demonstrated that it does not appear that VPS is operational when the Phantom 3 has a good GPS lock. Uh, the first video that I'll put up shows the Phantom throwing, flowing, excuse me, at a height of about three feet off the ground with VPS turned off. Uh, the Phantom is still very stable. Uh, it only moves probably two to three inches at the most. And then the following video right after that will show the Phantom 3 being flown with VPS turned on. And uh, I don't think that you're going to see much of a difference in the way that the Phantom holds its position in either of those videos. So I'll go ahead and get those up and uh, feel free to comment below. EPS off. Seventeen satellites, sixteen. With VPS on, 